We used to sit around the fire telling each other stories. And it seems to me that today we've settled for being passive consumers of prepackaged narratives. Stories, movies, which are created by millions of Hollywood dollars and thousands of digital animators. It seems as if that the power of storytelling has been taken from us. And role-playing games return that power to us. Created in 1974 by Gary Gygax and David Arnson, Dungeons & Dragons, or D&D for short, has become one of the most successful role-playing games to ever be placed on a tabletop. With its minimal requirements of just a set of dice, some friends, and... IMAGINATION! Anyone can have the power to create any story they want. Whether it be a dark and grim tale of a thousand-year war, or a crew of pirates traveling the high seas, singing songs, and doing whatever this is! It can be done. But there is some setbacks to this style of storytelling. I mean, if you want to call them setbacks, that is. I personally think the term pretending to be on whose line is it anyway. The show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Works better. But that's just my take on it. Anyway, the main one is that D&D isn't just one person telling a story to a group of people around a campfire. It's collaborative. You are as much a part of the story as those who are listening to it are. The other potential problem is the idea of RNG or random number generation. A roll of a die can determine whether your players kill the dragon or let the kingdom burn to ashes. But with this can come positive effects on both the players and the narrator of the game. Let's use the case of the burning kingdom as an example. So the castle is on fire and the party needs to figure out how to put the fire out. The situation requires some creative problem solving, so you start casting some spells that create streams of water. Great, now you have one, maybe two people in your party who are able to do this. But now you have to get the rest of the city to help. This is where teamwork comes in. Players have to organize the townsfolk and get them to help stop the fire in the most effective way possible. This is encouraging social interaction with both players and the various citizens the narrator will be playing. Finally, after the fire is put out, there will be losses. Townsfolk will have lost homes and valuable items. This is where the players can use empathy to comfort them at this time of tragedy. Now, the reason I ran through that scenario to begin with was to illustrate the traits players have to exhibit while playing D&D. See, D&D doesn't just have to be a mode for storytelling, but for learning too. Adam Davis and Adam Johns are two therapists who do just this. The duo uses D&D as a way to teach kids. For the past few years, they have used the game as a type of group therapy for children of all ages as a way to learn and improve themselves. Now, everything I've been saying up to this point has been coming out of my mouth on my views of the game and what it can do for people. So, to back up my opinions, I decided to ask a singular person who also play the game to tell their own stories and opinions on it. So, why should people play D&D? Yes. Uh, you know, back in the day it used to be seen as like really taboo and like things that only nerds do, but recently it's like popped back up in the mainstream and a lot of people are really into like collecting dice and stuff now. And I think it gives everybody the opportunity to be somebody who maybe they aren't or that they wish they were. And honestly, it's just fun to like get all your friends together and tell a really cool story and have everybody be a part of it. It's super fun and it's like a really good way to just take a break from like the daily woes of our lives. Dungeons and Dragons is now over 30 years old and has continued to inspire people of all ages to create and share the stories, adventures, and characters they have created. And honestly, while making this video, I found myself having a newfound and stronger love for the game. D&D isn't just for loners, nerds, or losers. D&D is for anyone. Children, parents, teenagers, anyone with a beating heart and a hunger for great storytelling. So grab some friends, roll out the dice, take a seat, and tell a story.